Hi, I'm CJ Hamilton. This is Chris Hamilton, and we're the electrical safety trainers for the Inland Empire LMCC. Today, we're going to show you our electrical safety board. Now, this looks like a toy, but it's not. When we turn this on, it literally puts 15,000 volts on the high power lines here. And what we're going to show you today is what happens when you have down power lines uh, in an auto wreck, what happens if you get a ladder or a, or a ladder truck into a, a power line, uh, what happens when utility workers are working on a, a transformer and it goes to ground, and what happens when you have a down power line and it hits a fence. We're going to show you all that today and go through the scenarios on how to save your life. In this example, we're going to show you what happens when we get a fire truck, uh, their ladder truck, or what they call pipe trucks, up into the up into the lines, or anything else that gets into the lines. Uh, but we're going to use the fire truck because we, we're doing first responders uh, safety today. Okay. Uh, now, when it comes to fire trucks, uh, we have a, a discussion on. Uh, the uh, outriggers being out and being insulated or not being insulated. So I'm going to show you both today. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens when they're not insulated. That's going to be our first uh, example. And then uh, we're going to show you the second one, which is going to be insulated. Okay, so our first example what we have here is a fire truck. Uh, this is a pipe truck because it's got the water on it. Uh, what it's going to do is we're going to pull it up. That we're going to say that the outriggers are out because they don't have outriggers on this, but you're going to see what happens. I've got wires on the bottoms. It's going to show what happens when uh, uh, the the truck goes into the lines and you can see the uh, electricity going through it. Chris, go ahead and turn it on. Okay, now we have 15,000 volts going through the power lines. Uh, we've got a truck that's pulled up here. He's got his outriggers out and he's going to pull up towards the, towards the power lines and uh, watch how it goes completely through the truck. That's what the outriggers out. Boom, just like that. Okay, now go ahead and shut it off, Chris. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the outriggers, okay? And what these things are, we're going to pull, just like there's no outriggers up at all, okay? We're going to change some people around here. Okay, now watch this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to show you the example of insulated outriggers, okay? Go ahead and turn it on, Chris. Okay, now they're insulated. Now watch the arc. See how small the arc is? Because there's no way for this thing to go to ground. So it's, the truck is actually getting what we call the Faraday cage on it. Okay, so it's, it's actually picking up the electricity, but the electricity has no place to go to ground, which makes the truck a lot safer, as long as there's nobody close to the truck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this little guy right up next to the truck, okay? And then what happens if you reach up and touch the truck and it's, it's insulated, uh, you're gonna become the ground, watch what happens, boom. You're the guy right there. You're going to take all that power that's coming from those power lines right through your body. Why? Because you're touching a truck that was insulated and you become the ground. This has been a demonstration on uh, first responders vehicles, uh, ladder trucks, pipe trucks into high, volt uh, high voltage or high tension wires. I'm CJ Hamilton. Thanks for watching.